if you do hand embroidery, there are a lot of different ways that you can finish your pieces. One fun way is to make it into a pin cushion. So today I'm gonna to show you two different ways to make a pin cushion with your embroidery. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. So pin cushions are great ways to finish off your embroidery piece that you've done. Today, I'm gonna to show you two different ways to do that. So for this, you're gonna need um, a little piece of embroidery that you've done and then just cut it into a square. So this one I've made five inches square, but really this is a flexible project. You can do it in whatever size you want. And then you'll need a piece of fabric for uh, the back of the pin cushion. And this can be um, any kind of fabric you want. It can be a print, it can be solid, anything that you would like to go with it. And we're just gonna do a really simple pin cushion. We're not gonna put in uh, piping or anything like that. So we're gonna take our two squares and put them right sides together. And now I'm just gonna stitch all the way around the edge, but leave a gap like about um, two inches. So once we've stitched it all the way around the edge, we have two choices. If you want to make a really simple kind of flatter pin cushion like this, then you would trim the corners, turn it right side out, stuff it, and then stitch that opening closed. But I'm going to show you how to make one that is more like a box shape, more than this kind of rounded shape. So to do this, I'm going to take the corner and I'm just going to pull it apart and then I'm gonna bring these two seams together. And I'm gonna press this one that direction, this one the other direction, and then I'm gonna feel it in my hand um, when they are matching up. So here I can feel that they've lined up, and this is similar to how we can um, box the corners on a bag, if you're making a bag. And I'm just gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna find where that line is, where my half inch mark is right on the seam and it's one inch all the way across. So the half inch is in the middle. And then I'm gonna use a marker, pencil, something, just to write that line on there. And I'm gonna put a pin just to hold everything together. And then I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna stitch right on that line. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just gonna mark the other corners because we're gonna do this on all four corners. So when I go to the next one, I just wanna make sure that this seam is still gonna be going in that direction. So I'll pull my pieces apart and then I can feel this is going in that direction. So I'll put this one in that direction and just feel with my fingers that the seams line up and then find the part where half inch is right on the seam and it's one inch from side to side. So once all the corners are marked, then I'll go to the sewing machine and I will stitch all of them at the same time. So now that these corners have all been stitched, I've just cut off the very edges of the corner so you can see the stitching line. And then I'm gonna turn this right side out. And we can already see with those corners that it looks um, pretty, it's a different shape than this one. This one is more square. And now I'm just gonna add stuffing and be sure to put the stuffing um, all the way into the corners. So it's gonna be up to you 
how firm you want your pin cushion, if you want it firm or you want it more squishy, but I think uh, this is looking pretty good. So now I'm just gonna hand stitch this little opening closed and then it's gonna be finished. So there it is. You can see how cute this is. So whether you wanna do a pin cushion that's more square like this or one that's more round, enjoy sewing pin cushions with your little embroideries. For more embroidery inspiration and tutorials, be sure to check out evenstudio.com.